President Obama may be on vacation, but as Wyatt just said, the campaign continues. And for that, let's turn to Margaret Hoover and John Avlon. Margaret is a Republican commentator and author of American Individualism, How a New Generation of Conservatives Can Save the Republican Party. And John is senior political columnist for the Daily Beast. And uh, in the interest of transparency here, they are, are husband married. and wife. They are married. And they're holding hands. And they often kiss before segments, which is really sweet. Um, but on to the actual topic du jour. John, I want to start with you. In terms of Rick Perry, he really came out swinging this week, not only against the president, but uh, against our Fed chair. Yeah, he did. And I don't know that that's the best launch strategy for Rick Perry. Here's the catch-22. These sort of irresponsible statements can play really well with the base, but they're kryptonite to the general electorate. And so it raises real questions about his discipline as a candidate and his ability to convert support from the evangelical Tea Party base that Rick Perry has to being a serious nominee potential. Margaret, a lot of people are comparing him to George Bush, the, of course, governor, former Texas governors. Is he going to have a tough, tough time attracting independents and conservative Democrats as well, we go Well, not just because he's a Texan or just because of the Bush affiliation, but Rick Perry certainly is embodies that Texas swagger that I'm not so sure Americans are ready to see back in the Oval Office. Hmm. And the thing about Rick Perry as well, these colorful statements work fine in the primary, but that is exactly who the White House wants to run against. Because the more gaffes, the more colorful language that can take away from the story of President Obama's failing economy, the better off the White House does. Yeah, George Bush the... looks like Abraham Lincoln compared to this whole crowd right now. <laughs> I'll just say that. This is one of the issues, though, John. I mean, you mobilize your base, the GOP base right now, and then for the general election, you have to take this serious left turn in order to get some of those independents, and that's going to be a major issue for some of the front runners in this campaign right now. That is a fundamental problem with the Republican Party that has moved from center right to far right increasingly. And look, independent voters are 40% of the electorate, the largest and fastest growing segment. So this isn't just some, you know, demo graphic group you got to appeal to. They this is the elections. heartland, folks. Yeah, exactly right. And so this is the problem. The more parties become polarized, the more they become, and the primary process forces can candidates to pander to the outer reaches of their party's politics, then you have a tougher time converting to a general election. Margaret, if you're advising uh, Rick Perry right now, what do you do as, as far as the George Bush issue is concerned? Do you do everything you can do to distance yourself from George Bush? No, I, I don't think we need to. This election is going to be about George Bush. As much as President Obama continues to blame Fred <laughs> Bush for the previous economy, it's not about George Bush. He needs to set his own course, but I, I, I just think the Texas swagger is not going to play in the independent, in the general election. Uh, I think, too, what Rick Perry represented was wanting in the, in the field, in the Republican field, and there still remains, even though he's in, an enormous amount of Republican donor money and establishment support on the sidelines waiting for someone mm. else to get in. Who's and the White House afraid of, then? Who, who would they not want to run against? I think, genuinely, I believe somebody like who has put forth strong economic policies, an alternative pro-growth message, somebody like Paul Ryan who hasn't been afraid to take on the sacred cows in Washington and can show that he has real political courage, connect to regular Americans and a younger generation. I think somebody like Paul Ryan, they would be more afraid of running against than somebody like Chris Christie or Rick Perry. Okay. Are you saying we might see Paul Ryan run in this thing? I think Paul Ryan is considering it. Very interesting. interesting. Who, who do they want to say? Who do they want to say? Very quickly. I think they'd love to run it against. Look, I mean, a Perry Bachman ticket would mm -hmm. be a dream team in terms of the White House's perspective. You know, the far right would get what they wanted, ideological purity, and the White House would get what they want, which is a, a team that would have a real hard time converting mm -hmm. to centrist and independent support. Okay, John Avalon and Margaret Hoover, as always. Thanks, thanks guys. a lot. Thank you. You're gonna be holding hands again. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nice work. Right <laughs>